Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I wanted to make a video focused on something so broken in Battlefield 4 it begs the question, how is this still a thing? And yes, this is a total ripoff of John Oliver's show, but nonetheless, there are a lot of things still broken in Battlefield 4. My current hot button issue is the terrible spawn system in Team Deathmatch and Domination. These are some of the most popular game modes in Battlefield, and yet they still have massive flaws that we somehow ignore. Perhaps this is because the fix for bad spawns isn't exactly a straightforward process. It's not do this or do that. It requires someone to actually sit down and analyze each map and change spawn locations, modify the spawn algorithms, and possibly add objects to provide better spawn cover. There's a lot of different routes you could go with it. So rather than making a three hour long video analyzing every inch of the spawn system and speculating on what might be better or what might fix the system better, I thought it would be more useful to focus on a specific issue that is so blatantly broken in Battlefield that it really just has to be fixed as soon as possible. So the placement of the spawns at the beginning of a round have never been that good. They haven't been that well balanced. Certain teams were closer to other things, but it was never an issue that was really focused on too much because generally when rounds started, you would get people trickling in from either side. This was because we never had that round start timer, the ready up button where a number of people on each team had to hit the ready button, and then you got like 10 or 20 people on either side spawning in and ready to fight all at the right time. This has basically shown just how poorly placed some of these round start spawns are. Check out this clip here. What you just witnessed was about 20 players hostile to each other, less than about 30 feet away, all spawning with no cover in between them. You can even look at the other side while the round start timer is ticking down and take aim. Just hold that left click button or the trigger on your controller and fire as soon as that spawn timer ends and basically people are going to start dropping like flies. It really does beg the question, how is this still a thing? This spawn problem here was definitely evident as soon as the map was released for Dragon's Teeth. So that means we've had three and a half months to deal with this team deathmatch issue of poor spawns in just this one map since it came out and nobody's really done anything about it. There's been patches and people focusing on certain issues, but it's clear that the spawn system has gone way overlooked. Now certainly this is one of the worst possible versions of the round start spawns, but it's not to say that it's not happening in other maps, even the more popular vanilla maps. Rogue Transmission spawns the entire teams in line of sight of each other, and a fast-fired rocket in the start of a round can net you some easy kills, not to mention the possibilities of UCAVs, which certainly people have been exploiting to great effect. Flood Zone ends up putting an entire team inside of a small shack at the start, making it almost impossible to move out unless somebody throws a suicide grenade or RPGs the roof of the shack. I've been stuck in that shack for quite a while, when I spawned as a class with no explosives. Siege of Shanghai puts one team directly next to the rooftop access points while the other team has to spawn across the map. Sure, it's not line of sight of each other, but giving the rooftop to one team right at the start of a round is often a death sentence for the other guys. Hainan Resort, on the other hand, is one of my favorite TDM maps, but it also has a terrible spawn at the start of the map. Let's count how many seconds it takes before I'm in direct line of sight of the enemy team. Seems like about three seconds, way too quick for your entire teams to basically meet at the start of a round. And frankly, if you get the right spawn at the beginning of that map, you can make it even shorter and line up some pretty easy sniper shots or RPG shots. And don't even get me started on the Sunken Dragon TDM map. Most people don't even play it anymore. You can't even find servers playing it because the spawns are just so abysmal. Anyway, the main point I wanted to get across in this video is that round start spawns are not that complicated to fix. It's probably as simple as changing spawn position number one to something else on the map. Heck, dice, if you really want to get your hands dirty, maybe even make it so not everyone is squeezed together like we're in a cattle car, or even put some cover around some of the open fields spawns that just leave you easy pickings for snipers. Take this average TDM spawn on Dawnbreaker. How many sniper glints did I just spawn in front of? Six? Six snipers literally in line of sight of where I'm spawning. 
Not surprising that I'm not gonna survive. Anyway, it's really not rocket science. Fixing spawns in this game shouldn't be that hard of a task, and I think DICE really needs to switch gears and focus on this aspect of the game for a little while, because it's been a problem from the beginning. As always guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we can get this issue fixed, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.